B or two. The beginning of B season here. And so I thought I would try to get a few things together. Try some new ideas this year. Uh, I'll take my homemade hives here. What I had did is built a slide in board with a screen bottom in it. And in the winter time, I take this particular part of a piece of plywood, and of course, I didn't cut this one right. Did a good board. I'm way off. Okay. Well, supposedly, <laughs> had I cut the board correctly, this. The bottom board is going to slide in just like that. Now, this I realized I grabbed the wrong board, YouTube. This particular cut that I made, I'm using it as a top cover, I believe, in the event. So, and looking at some of the videos of some of the other beekeepers. I noticed that one particular beekeeper likes to drill a hole up here, cover up this entrance that you see here. Look at it from the inside of the hive here. Tilt straight over. See what I'm talking about? Right there. So, what I'm going to do this year as an experiment on one, two, three, four hives is I am going to drill a hole right about here. I don't want to drill it on the same size that my handle's on because if I pick it up, I'm going to get the snot stung out of me probably. So, in one of the videos that I watched, he was drilling a one inch hole about here. Uh, that way you have less guard bees. You have more bees living uh, the hive so they can work the other thing is, I believe a small entrance like this is more conducive to the bees that, like they uh, live in the wild, you know. They have more of an opportunity to do things as they naturally would. The other thing I made uh, was some scrap lumber. Of course, you know, it's not all going to be perfect because I'm not an ideal carpenter at all is when I feed my bees, I put this top on there so they have uh, greater access to the feed. And when I use my inner cover on top of that puppy, then I place this on there and I put my bags on top of there or the sugar or whatever I'm using, the bees can come up through here and uh, hopefully reduces the amount of robin that you have in a lot of instances. So, let me see how that works. The other thing I try to experiment with is if you have uh, particular hive tops that are bodies that you want to just put the wire to, rather than having this little slide out area that I have here. Experiment with that in the summertime when it gets so dang hot. Hopefully that will make the hive much cooler than these. Air circulate better. Have a whole lot better outcome. So I'm gonna drill these puppies out and I'm gonna get back with you. See what you think. Uh, now like I said these are homemade high boxes. So tell me what you think about all this. See how um, many different ideas you can come up with on YouTube. That would help to save some money anyway. Uh, a lot of this lumber you can pick up a lot of places where they're building houses. They're going to burn this lumber. They're going to throw it away. Go up there and ask a job for them. And if you can have it, you can pick up this lumber for nothing. Load it in your vehicle, come on back to your house, and start making stuff. Alright, you two, let me drill these holes, 
and I will get back with you. Thanks.